Okay, text one is a short passage about an international student and he's introducing his daily schedule. Okay, okay, please um, listen to the recording again and answer the questions according to the content of the text. 课文我是留学生 十一点半下课。下午，我常常去图书馆看书。晚上，我学习汉语，有时候看电视、上网。Okay, now please answer these questions according to the text one. The first question is. 我每天几点起床? Okay, so the meaning of this question is like at what time I get up every day, right? So 我每天几点起床? So uh, the answer, how would you answer this question? So the answer will be 我每天六点半起床? So I get up at six. 30 every day, right? Okay, the second question. 我几点开始上课? So at what time I begin to go to class or begin to have class, right? So the answer would be here. 我每, 我们每天八点开始上课? So uh, we begin to have class at eight o'clock every day, right? And the number three, okay? 下午我常常做什么? So what's the meaning of this question? So in the afternoon, what do I do usually? What do I often do, okay? 下午我常常做什么? So how would you answer this question? Okay, the, the answer will be here. 下午我常常去图书馆看书. So in the afternoon, I often go to the library to read books. And the last question here, number four. 我晚上做什么? So what do I do in the evening? Right? So how would you answer this question? Right, the answer will be here. 晚上我学习汉语，有时候看电视、上网。So in the evening, I study Chinese. And sometimes I watch TV and get online. Okay, so this is the uh, text one of lesson nine. And in last class, we also uh, learned um, the expressions or how to tell time in Chinese and how to ask about time. So anyone can answer, what's the basic question pattern for inquiring about time in Chinese? So, so what's the time now, right? Okay, so don't forget this very basic question pattern, okay? And also there's two other notes we need to learn from text one. So as we have learned in last class, 先 something, 然后 something. So in the text one, the question, the expression using 先 something, 然后 something is here, right? So 起床以后先洗澡,然后吃早饭, right? So what's the meaning of this expression? 先 something, 然后 something. So 先 means the first do something, 然后, and then something, right? So 起床以后先洗澡,然后吃早饭. So after I get up, I first take a shower and then have breakfast.
So xian, ran hou. Let's see some other examples. So here on the textbook is here. So there's a quick note about the xian something, ran hou something. So this expression indicate the sequence of action, sequences of actions. So for example, the first one, let's read together. 我先学习汉语, 然后看电视. So how would you translate this sentence? I first study Chinese and then watch TV. And the second example, 我先去银行, 然后去书店. So the meaning is, I first go to a bank and then go to a bookstore. Shu dian means a bookshop, a bookstore. And yin hang, bank. So we learned in previous lessons, like Bank of China, Zhong Guo Yin Hang, right? So number three, Wu Xian Shang Ke, Ran Ho Chu Shang Dian. I first go to class and then go to a shop. Shang Dian means shop, right? So here are just the three other examples using the ex expression of xian something, ran hou something, which means firstly or first do something, and then something, and then do something. So show indicates the screens of actions. Okay, and a second note from text one is here. Like, um, 我去教室上课 here. 我差一刻八点去教室上课. So here the expressions also shows the screens of action, like to a location or lie a location and then do something. So here let's see the note together. Right? So lie or to. So lie means to come and to means to go, right? To come or to go. And here can add an object which is a location, right? And a verb means action and do something, do something else, right? So let's see the note here. The structure lai or chu plus object one. So here object one should be a place or location and plus a verb and plus object two. So it's used to indicate one comes or to goes to somewhere to do something, okay? So, lai uh, means to come, and qu means to go. And this object one means like somewhere, a location, a place. And the verb plus object two means to do something, okay? So here, the verb plus object two means the purpose of lai or qu. So you come or to go a place, and uh, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of to come or to go this place is you, you want to do something, right? So here, object one is a noun indicating the opposition or a place, and it can be omitted sometimes, okay? So we don't need always to speak out this object one, which indicates a location, okay? So let's see the example. The first one, 他来我家吃饭。他来我家吃饭, so he comes to my place, my home, to have a meal, right? So the purpose why he come to my home is that he he have he is going to have a meal, right? And number two, 下午我去图书馆看书. In the afternoon, I go to the library to read the books. So the purpose to go to the library is to read the books. Number three, 我明天去银行存钱. So here, 银行 is the place or location can be omitted sometimes. And you can say, 我明天去存钱. I tomorrow go to bank to deposit money, right? And number four, 晚上我去 电影院看电影. So in the evening, I go to the cinema to watch a movie. 
sometimes the cinema, 电影院 can be omitted. So you can directly say, 晚上我去看电影 In the evening, I go watching a movie. Okay, so this structure, 来或去 plus a location or a place, and plus a verb, an object too. That means you come or you go to a, a place somewhere to do something. Okay. Okay, that's all for the、uh, text one. Now let's come into text two. Okay, text two. Okay, first let's、uh, learn the new words and expressions of text two. 课文二，生词。现在，是，开，门，关，明天。Okay, please. 专名。英文。Okay, let's read again. The first one. 现在 ，which means now at present. 现在。So as we have learned, like the most basic、uh, question pattern for asking about time in Chinese is that 现在几点 What's the time now, right? And next one, 是 means a matter of fair, right? So 有事 have something, have something, have a、uh, something to do. Like、um, in the spoken Chinese. Like sometimes we ask someone else, 你有事吗 Like, do you have some matter? Do you have something? Which means, which means we use this question means that 你有事吗 Like, how can I help you? May I help you? Right. So 你有事吗 Literally means that do you have something? Do you have a matter? Which actually means like how can I help you? May I may I help you? Okay. And next the one. Kai to open, and men means a door, a gate. So open the door, Kai men, right? Kai men, and sometimes Kai men also indicate that a place like a bank or a library to begin the business. Okay, to、so、begin the business. So not always literally means open the door. So you can say that 图书馆啊，图书馆开门。So the library literally means open the door. So which means the library begin the business. Okay. So at that time you can go to the library, like to read books or to rent a book. Okay. So that means the library like begin the daily business. Okay. 开门 And also 银行开门 The bank begin its business. Okay, so not always means the bank open the gate. The bank, the bank opens the gate. Actually, means the bank begin the business. Okay, the next one, to shut to close. One, okay, one, and to shut or to close the door. One man, the one man. So similarly to the、uh, open the door, 开门 So 关门 not always means like、um, to close the door. So sometimes one may indicate a place like a library or a bank to finish its business, its daily business, like 图书馆关门 Okay, so the library like like、um, finish or or ends its business, daily business. Okay. And next one, tomorrow, 明天 Okay, 明天 And the proper name of text two is that、um, Yingwen. Okay, Yingwen. So Yingwen, like similar to Zhongwen, so especially means the written English language. Okay, so Yingwen, so especially means the written English language. Like comparing to the、uh, Yingyu, so Yingyu, like means like spoken English. Okay, so Yingwen means like written language or printed language, like English book. So we say Yingwen Shu. Okay, Yingwen Shu. Okay, let's make a pause and then continue.